Hi everyone, we are the fifth group and we will be telling you a story which is recreated from the legend of the Dinagat Islands from the Karaga region, entitled Against All Odds. In a dangerous metropolis, a rivalry has formed between the police force and the most recent gang in the area. It has been going on for years and wasn't going to be put to a stop anytime soon. Tiana was a 25-year-old law-abiding citizen who always held admiration for her father, the chief of police. On the other hand, was Gatsby who followed his father's steps in becoming the next fearsome gang leader in the city. One day, as Diana was taking a stroll downtown, a group of thugs tried to hit on her, but to her luck, Gatsby was around to tell them to leave her alone. Out of fear of knowing him, the men left. They talked and their unlikely encounter seemed to turn into an attraction. Days and weeks passed and the two kept meeting and slowly started to f fall in love. Diana's father, who was getting suspicious of his daughter's possible little rendezvous, decided to send out a cop to check on her and sure enough, he found out she was seeing a gang's leader son. He, he forbade Diana from meeting him again, which made her upset. Diana was downhearted and got to be longed for her when his father also talked him to leave her. But just like another cliche love story, the couple fights for their love and does everything to be together. Diana and Gatsby decided to meet up one evening and agreed to leave their responsibilities behind. They leave the city to start a new life in far province where their families can find them. The couple live happily and content. They had everything they needed, a nice home to supply them and each other. They believe everything was going well and exactly how they had in mind. Meanwhile, Back in the city, Diana's father thought that Gatsby had kidnapped her, so he sent out troops to find them and bring them back. The gang leader found out about the police, police's plan and told his men to find the couple first before the police do. He ordered them to use brute force if they didn't comply. One afternoon, the couple was in their home when the gang members burst in to take them. They threatened Diana and Gatsby became mad which resulted into a shootout. Diana was shot and got hurt badly. Gatsby became furious and started to shoot back at the gang members while trying to protect his love. After a while, the police arrived and saw Gatsby on a shooting rampage. They had no other choice than to shoot back which resulted in him getting shot to the abdomen. He takes Diana in his arms and escapes the place, getting as far away as he can. Night fell and they reached the forest. Gatsby was panting as he bled. Diana was running out of time. He let her lay on the ground, leaning against a tree, and he did the same. He wanted to rest. He looked at his lover, pale and crying softly. Gatsby placed a small kiss on Diana's forehead and held her hand as they both went to sleep. The following day, the police officers found the couple in the forest, dead in each other's arms. They told Diana's father and the gang leader about what happened. They fell into despair, losing their loved ones. A few days passed by after the couple's burial, the gang leader and the police chief met and decided to end their feud. They agreed to fight crime and protect the city together in their own ways out of respect for the couple. Over time, the city became safer and a better place to live in. To everyone who joined us in our podcast, big thanks. Again, this is Group 5 with yours truly, Aranda, Kaandoy, Morauda, Patigdas, Rempilio, and Satumba. Goodbye!